Customers continue to want healthier and sustainably packaged food options. Local, eco-friendly, farm-to-table, seasonal, zero-waste, or foraging are all food movements and trigger words for health-conscious Americans. In 2020, trends in the food service industry will piggyback off of 2019 progressive movements. A greater reliance on technology will allow business owners to reach customers in new and different ways, whether that's paying, ordering, or delivering. The definition of restaurant is shifting into a sector of the industry that has never been explored before. The traditional workday has become more fluid than the conventional 9 to 5. Employees have become more available to their employers, making the need for quick, high-quality foods even more important. People are turning their backs on fast food and turning towards grab-and-go meals. These are meals that can be purchased at many different types of businesses in disposable containers for a low cost and require you to wait zero minutes before buying. These meals are made fresh daily or frozen in a microwave-safe container. These meals are not only convenient, but they also provide other sources of income for small businesses. High-end restaurants are also creating grab-and-go meals for their customers. Grab-and-go meals have separated themselves from prepackaged foods, which have a terrible reputation for impacting your health. Chef prepared meals with flavor and high-quality ingredients in mind Packaged sustainably will be a trend that will grow in 2020s. Customers cannot help but run into CBD products. Although marijuana has been a hot button issue for many years, the anti hallucinogenic portion of the cannabis plant has been marketed as a way to treat insomnia, pain, anxiety, and is being infused into foods and beverages. In particular, tea, kombucha, and even water infused with CBD can be seen at most, if not every grocery store. Many politicians, regardless of party, are interested in making marijuana legal across the United States. While proponents push its medical benefits, it's also incredibly lucrative and can boost the job market. Another up-and-coming trend is the meatless or plant-based option, the antithesis of the meat-based meal or factory farming. People are focusing on vegetarian and vegan meals as a way to improve their health and to combat the misuse of animals. While not only looking at how animals are raised, customers have been acutely aware of the impact of factory farms on our climate. Customers are becoming more aware that their food choices are impacting our world health. Additionally, having plant-based, dairy-free, and gluten-free options on menus allows for people with dairy restrictions not to feel hindered when eating out or ordering food in. Restaurateurs are altering their menus so that they are geared towards vegetarian and vegan options. Increase in plant-based meals and alternatives is generating growth in other areas. For instance, by increasing the amount of plant-based meals offered across the board is also helping the demand for local farm-raised products, which is giving new life to small farms. They, in turn, can turn a profit, allowing them to grow more, giving customers greater access to fresh foods at a more reasonable cost. Seasonally or locally grown food restaurants are not just businesses that incorporate some seasonally fresh products, but the entire restaurant's concept revolves around using ingredients that are in season, sourced from local farms and harvested at the peak of freshness. This puts the restaurant at the mercy of the of the weather, but it also ensures that meals are fresh, flavorful, and support their local economy. A downside to these type of restaurants is that they cannot be ran at full capacity year-round, but instead they rely on peak produce seasons, tourism, and holidays to create profit. Consumers look for seasonal restaurants because they want to support local economies and enjoy delicious seasonal flavors. The food industry is also seeing an increase in other types of restaurants.
like zero waste. Any chef or sanitation worker can tell you how much food waste is a problem. The amount of plastic floating in the oceans is incalculable, and the Environmental Protection Agency has reported in the past year that 23% of the landfill waste comes from packaging and containers from the food industry. It is being utilized as an alternative to traditional waste and recycling disposal systems, which have been proven to be grossly ineffective. Small restaurants, containerless grocery stores, and bloggers are leading the way in the zero waste movement. Their influence is starting to make ripples in the food industry, taking steps to reduce their use of plastics and single use products, including Disney and Starbucks. Although these corporations have taken action in the way of reducing waste, the United States government and most metropolitan cities have not taken steps in the form of policy to combat the expanding problem of waste. San Diego and Washington, D.C. are the only two cities in the United States that have taken a stance and banned styrofoam products and plastic straws. The zero waste movement focuses on eliminating unnecessary rubbish thrown into the landfills and oceans. However, there is another anti-waste action that is trending called gleaning. Gleaning harkens back to the ancient custom of field clearing in which people would harvest leftover crops. This practice is now back in fashion to help prevent food waste. After grocery stores have taken only the most beautiful and best quality ingredients, they leave the rest to rot in the fields. This is because the produce does not meet particular industry standards. Gleaning rejects the notion that fruits and vegetables need to look perfect. To be consumed. Billions of misshapen, ugly fruits and vegetables are never seen by paying customers. Some businesses, whether a brick and mortar or delivery, are taking the initiative to prevent food waste. Imperfect foods and misfit market are two great examples of ugly fruit and vegetable home delivery services that are helping to change the perspective of what good quality food looks like. Gleaning is not only trendy, but also economically smart and a good way to utilize ugly produce. Chefs want to make their mark on the food industry, but brick and mortar restaurants can be extremely costly and are sometimes not the best choice for new restauranteurs. On the other side of the aisle, customers are not always looking for a two-hour sit-down dining experience, but a fun alternative casual dining experience. The answer to both perspectives is the alternative dining space. These include food carts, food trucks, and food halls or communal dining spaces. Food trucks are becoming even more popular as they are expanding their presence into smaller urbanized areas. Different communities can try different or diverse cuisine from around the country at a lower cost than a sit-down restaurant. Another growing alternative dining space is a food hall or communal dining space. These food halls are filled with booths that aspiring restaurateurs can rent as a way to test out their restaurant concepts and foods on the public before investing in a much more costly brick and mortar venture. Last but not least is the street vendor or food cart. These restaurateurs generally specialize in one type of cuisine. They're usually clustered together with other street vendors that also have similar specialty dishes. People love trying new food, so being able to bounce around to different vendors or carts and try various specialties is an exciting prospect and will continue to bring in customers. In conclusion, the food industry is changing so dramatically to address climate change, global crisis, and health concerns across the board at a rate that is hard to keep up with. Technology like smartphones, ordering apps, unique payment systems, and delivery systems are becoming the method in which time-crunched yet food-conscious individuals can stay connected to businesses doing the right thing. Everyone on the planet Earth has to eat, but how we consume is our choice. 2020 is continuing to blaze the way for a more sustainable future. Caution, however, must be taken when our technological and food product development doesn't decrease access to low-income individuals and families. We cannot outprice our communities from the marketplace just for growth and profitability's sake. We are all going to benefit 
when our world eats and grows its food in a way that help us and our planet grow healthier together.